Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Summer. I haven't really been uploading for a while because I took a break. It was Easter break and my children were on holidays. And what happens when, you know, the children are on holidays, you know, the vibe in the house is completely different. You know, I'm so used to, let me just quickly get this out of the way. You know, I'm so used to, okay, wait, people have gone to school, gone to work. Then I set up my camera, the house is quiet and peaceful. I make my videos and, you know, get it out of the way. But when schools are on holidays, the vibe is completely different. It's such a laid back vibe. It kind of affects my motivation to sit down and make videos because it's just so laid back. The routines are so different. So I just wanted to get that out of the way. So while I was taking a break, I was on Facebook and I saw the page by Yule Doshe's second wife, the Judy. And uh, I was surprised. Let me say this, actually. Let me get this out of the way. I don't know if this page is actually hers, but I'm thinking it's hers because it's like 170 something thousand followers. But if it's not her page on Facebook, I think it would be wise for her to you know come out publicly and say that page is actually not me it's not me running it you know just for people to for people to know that okay she's not involved in that page you know so that people can know that okay she's not the one running the page that page exists but she's not the one running it or she's not it's not affiliated to her it's not connected to her because if not if she doesn't clarify that i'm not saying it's on her page I'm just saying, if it's not her page, it would be wise for her to do this. Just so that, you know, it can take some of this uh, negative um, impression people have of, of her. There is a page on Facebook with her name. Let me keep saying with her name because I don't know 100% if it's hers or not, right? But I'm saying if it's hers, it will be wrong. If it's her, if it's hers, people are going to say, like, is she the most... Like, I'm telling you, people will look at her and say, are you this heartless? If it is hers... You know, because I sat and I said, what? Like, okay, this post, this page I'm talking about, if it's hers, since this baby, sorry, since this uh, boy lost his life, that is the son of her husband. So that is her stepson, right? This page has been capitalizing on this popularity or this, um, um, what's it called, this, um, the news and the trending stories since this the son of the the stepson died has been making posts and said you know come and advertise on my page come and this that you know come and I, I can help you get a lot of followers you know advertising different products and advertising different things posting regularly like nothing happened like nothing happened that was when i sat and i said is this woman the most heartless woman in nigeria if it is her page because but that's what I'm saying. If it's not her page, she should come up publicly and say, there's a page out there, you know, that has been using my name to create whatever I left them to do what they are doing, but it's actually not me. It would be nice for her to do it. Because if your stepson lost his life, you're supposed to still be in mourning. Even if you say business is business, let's not forget, if it is your own biological son, would you have carried on so quickly? And then on top of that, if you say, okay, you want to carry on business, forget whatever, but at least maybe I could have made a post to say, you know, to even like a post to acknowledge that that boy lost his life. Even a post, you know what I mean? To know that someone will make a post and say, rest in peace and, you know, make a post and kind of, and even say something about the fact that you lost your stepson, but not to even talk about it at all and carry on like nothing ever happened. That is cruel. I don't know why. That's what I'm saying if it is her page. Although, like when you think about when this whole saga was going on, she came out and said she is a Bathsheba, which I have made a video and addressed it. Bathsheba basically is saying that, you know, Bathsheba in the Bible, we know the story, the woman that uh, David had an affair with and ended up having children and ended up getting married to David and all of that is a long story. But why? You see, my thing is this. So if anybody, those that have watched my videos would know that I said it from day one. I do not blame her for marrying the man. I blame the man. I blame the man. Because if the man says, my wife is enough, he, the, no man that believes his wife with, is enough will go and bring another woman. Another woman to come and fill what gap. If there is no gap to be filled. So it is left for a man to stay faithful to his wife. It is left for a man to say, this is my marriage. This is, you know, who I love. This is who I want to be with. If a man does not get another woman involved in his marriage and marry another woman on top of his wife, nothing will happen. 
So that's why me, I always say it. I blame the man. I'm being honest. This time around, if it is her page, I am blaming her for doing this. I believe it's absolutely wrong. That is my opinion. I believe it's wrong. At least show that you are human. At least show that you care. Even if care about your husband. You know? At least show that you care about your husband. Because if you care about your husband and he's mourning his son, you should be in mourning as well on his behalf, if that makes sense. You should be feeling, that's the way I, best way to phrase it, you should be feeling his pain. That coming back on Facebook straight away should not be you know, a priority right now. It shouldn't be. Let me say it. She's not the first woman to marry the second wife. Or marry a man that has been married before, or a man that had relationship or had children before, and stuff like that. Personally, shared my own story here. Although my own is not is not the same, or my own is different in its own way. I've shared my story here. Let me actually say this before I forget. There was this guy that left me comment. Like when I address me a topic, and it's something that I have experienced, or my experience experience is similar. When you talk about talk about domestic violence, and I talk about my parents when I was growing up, you know, to elaborate how I understand the topic. I, you know, when I talk about churches and I speak about, oh, when I was going to that church, because whenever there's a story and there's, there's a part of, part of it that is something I can say, oh, I know what that story is about because I've experienced it like this, like that. And I use my experience to explain how I understand it and my opinion. One guy left a comment and said, eh, why do you always use your marriage? Eh, whatever, whatever. And I thought to myself, although I blocked him because his comment was a bit like, he just said a lot of BS. And... And I thought to myself, like, I blocked him, but obviously he can watch my videos, but he won't be able to leave comments. But I thought to myself, like, if I can come here and use the story of Funke Akindele, and use the story of uh, 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 Lagbaja, use the story of whatever to elaborate points, is it now my own story that is a crime for me to use to elaborate or explain what I want to explain? How does that make sense? The same time, some people will say, why are you talking about that? Well, talk about yourself. When well, you not talk about yourself, some people will not come and say, eh, why are you talking about yourself? I don't, I don't understand about people. Sometimes when you want to leave comment, at least use your uburu small. Use your uburu that God gave you. So what is wrong? Okay, I think I've diverted a bit, right? For example, I've shared my story here. Although my own like, is not like that one, my own is different. I met a man that has history with another woman. You know, I, I was on his first attempt to you know to meet somebody and marry somebody he was looking for what i was not the first one that crossed his path do you know what i mean basically what i'm trying to say is she's not the only one that would enter a marriage that gets more k leg you know what i mean you know some marriage story i shared my own here we get k leg small but there is a way you conduct yourself whatever woman my one had uh, what's it called now history with i don't know her never met her if i see her for a road i don't go even know her I never crossed that boundary. I never, I, there are some things I would never, you know, there are some things I never did. I never in any way, do you know what I mean? I respect, there's a boundary. That's another woman, they have history together. You know, that one, no, like I don't get myself involved in it. It's not even about respecting others. Sometimes respect yourself. So, but coming back to this Judy story, I'm just saying it. When I saw some of these things, I'm like, there are better ways. There are better ways. Let me tell you guys. You see, I keep saying it. It's good to keep your life private. So people think, oh, once I trend, it doesn't matter. Once I get the popularity, that's all that counts. It's not everything. We have seen people. There are a lot of things that people that have got the popularity and the whatever, trending for whatever. There are a lot of things they may be going through emotionally, psychologically, that they cannot open their mouth and tell us. There are a lot of things that everyday people go through in their private lives that we don't even get to know. But because their own is so public, it's so public. There are, do you know that this polygamy thing, there are some ways it could have been handled. If they even say they must do it, there are some ways it could have been handled. Not, so let me be honest, some of the things that were done, some of the things that were done came across as very immature. Judy Austin was not the first woman that a man married on top of his wife and she will not be the last but there are ways to go about it there are ways to go about it let me end it by saying this again if that page is not her page and she's not the one running it it will be important for her to just do a post and say that page is not me it's just some of my fans or whatever that created that page i'm not the one running it just be, it's just to clear her name at least a bit 
because as it's looking right now it doesn't look good at all it makes her look really heartless and i, I don't believe it's the picture she wants to to paint of herself that is how I, I feel about that and as always whatever your opinions are please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and with that i'm going to say thank you for watching until the next time guys bye bye bye